guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in Boston, and you are experiencing my packing mess right now. I am going away for the weekend. I'm going to Washington, D.C. Uh, to visit my family, but uh, I have to pack really quickly, and I'm excited because I'm just taking a carry-on, and that's it. Uh, and, a, and a bag too, like an accessory bag, one of the, my personal items. So we're gonna go through how I pack, what I pack, and some organized travel tips to keep you traveling optimally because I know that when I go through the airport, I don't wanna be stopped at security if I can help it. It's one of the more stressful things about going to the airport, you know what I mean? You're taking off your shoes. You're taking off your jacket. You're taking off your socks sometimes. You're taking out your liquids. It's crazy. Uh, you just want to get to your flight, get to your destination, and chill out. Uh, so today, we're going to give you some organized packing tips so that you can zip through security. And you guys know I love packing cubes, so today we're going to be trying a new packing cube today, and that is the Compass Rose Travel Accessories. These are the Compass Rose packing cubes. They are awesome. They come in these two different colors, gray and red, and they were kindly sent to me by the lovely people at Compass Rose, uh, also known as uh, Travel Fashion Gal. And I am very excited to try these out this weekend. They are really, really well made, and they have numbers on the bottom, which is great. So you can sort of categorize what goes in what number. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use all four today, but we're gonna try to use at least three because I, I don't have a lot of clothes to pack, but um, I'm definitely gonna pack an additional pair of shoes, a dress, and uh, all kinds of other stuff. So let's get to packing. So one really cool thing you can do with these cubes or any packing cubes, uh, but especially these, is separate the stuff by category, by day, by destination, which is really cool. I'm gonna leave a link down to Travel Fashion Girl down below so you guys can go check out her blog. I am a fan of supporting women-owned businesses. Y'all know how I feel about that. It's all about the girls. I, I can't help it, I'm biased. So if you guys are interested in getting your hands on a set of these travel cubes, go ahead and link down below. I will hook you up. So I have had this old Eagle Creek suitcase for like, I don't know, like 10 years. And it has seen a lot of action. The great thing about these Eagle Creek suitcases is they have a, like a lifetime guarantee. So if something happens to it, like if you're in Africa and it like, falls down a mountain or something like that, they'll replace it. <laughs> I mean, that would be a really exciting story, um, but you know, you never know. Well, you know, I am missing the, um, the hamper, the little like dirty clothes bag. Let me get that. Here we go, here is my dirty laundry bag. Um, I like to have this just so, um, cause I do, I'm going to my parents' house and I can do laundry there, but I like to have a place to put the laundry while it's dirty, you know what I mean? So I'm only going for, three nights and four days. So, um, and I had to drop off my dog and uh, I am really upset. I just dropped him off like maybe uh, 30 minutes ago and I'm heartbroken. I expect to see him somewhere in here, but he's not, he's gone and I'm super sad. You guys know how that is. I also printed a packing list for myself cause that's how I roll. So I've got uh, three pairs of underwear, one bra, a pajama top bottom and a bralette. Two t oh two t-shirts. Why don't I have two t-shirts on the list instead of three? Well, I have three t-shirts. It's gonna happen. Um, one plate, one one dress. There is, and um, every now and then I'll be dressing up. Party hamper, one pair of dress shoes, three pairs of socks, and a slippers. I have all those things. So let's get to packing. If I should fall, just go ahead. You guys, I got this dress yesterday in the mail from Poshmark, and I'm super excited because it's from Anthropology, and it's one I've wanted for years, I'm not even joking, but it was super hard to find. But there was a bunch on anthropology and this is a size two, so it fits perfect. It's got freaking planes on it and it's like a seersucker thing and it's got a fun like yellow lining. Oh my, it's so cute, it also has pockets of course. It's so cute, I am so excited. I finally got my hands on this dress after, oh man, I've wanted it since like, 2010 or 2011, so it's been a while. So it's finally mine, it's finally mine. It needs to be ironed, but I tried it on yesterday and it fits perfect, I'm super excited. Let's see if we can sneak her in there with the tops. Tops and a dress. Let's take out the bra. All right, let's maybe not include 
include the dress. <laughs> Let's just put top. We'll count the dress as a bottom. Number one, look at what a perfect rectangular shape this is. I'm really loving this. So the thing that made this really interesting is they fit in your suitcase, kind of like that. Look how freaking perfect that fits in there. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but I am excited. Now, frankly, I'm not excited about getting on a plane. I have to be honest with you guys, not super exciting. I used to have to take the Razapan to get on planes, but I think I'm good now. <sighs> I can at least deal with it a little bit, but um, still not a big fan of the plane travel, of the air travel, you know? It just gets to me a little bit. Okay, we're gonna put um, the dress in here and some pajama bottoms. You know what? No, let's put the jeans. I'm afraid that the jeans are gonna like rub up against the dress. It's not gonna be good. Could it be that the dress has to go in on its own? Maybe it will fit better if it's just kind of folded. The dress is in a cube of its own and it's fine. All right, let's go for number three. We got the bottoms. I was so ambitious, we're not gonna use all four. We're totally gonna use all four. Bottoms in number three. And last one, of course, is gonna be accessories and underwears. So that's what we're gonna do. Undies and socks in cube four. Take a look at that. Will you take a look at that? That is perfect. That's freaking perfect. I smash it down. I can even smash it down a bunch. So it doesn't take up my clothes, it doesn't take up very much space, and I still have all of this space for the rest of the stuff. So I'm gonna try and be efficient and uh, pack the rest of the stuff and I'll show you what's inside. So this is a little unusual because usually I am so extra. I take so much beauty stuff and so much makeup, but this time I'm only taking what's in here. That's all my makeup for the whole weekend, which is hard for me. <laughs> I've got this Stila palette, which is eyes and cheeks. One foundation, a little primer, my beauty blender, Eyelash curler, itty bitty highlighter, mascara and primer, very important. Eyeshadow primer, one pencil eyeliner, one liquid eyeliner, and the tiniest ever Charlotte Tilbury powder. I got this as a sample, it's super tiny. Also, it has a, the useless tiny mirror inside. Like, why would you, what, who, what are you looking at in that tiny mirror? It's the size of like a, a dollar, like a golden dollar. No, I take that back, it's the size of a quarter. Like literally, it's a, a quarter. 25 cents. You can look in a 25 cent mirror. Look at, look. Oh my gosh, look, I look so pretty with my, my mirror. I mean, give me a break. Sorry, there's no active workout in progress. Wait, what did you say? So I'm gonna put this all in this bag. I'm astounded that I can fit all my makeup for the weekend in here. You know, let me sharpen this before I take it out of town. I also forgot brows, but we're just gonna do this NYX thing and like keep it simple. Nothing too complicated. It's just a weekend at my parents. No big deal. No big deal. So I have all of my like bath stuff and body stuff in here in this Sephora thing. So um, my beauty blender doesn't fit in my makeup thing, so I'm just gonna put it in here with all this stuff. And here are my brushes, just in case you're wondering. I like this Real Techniques brush holder because you can like do, you can do that, that trick, that's fun. So in here we've got all of my clothes and I am super happy with these. These are so freaking cool. Um, they just make your bag look really neat and organized. And in here, because I told you I was extra, I have my sensor mirror, my little simple human travel sensor mirror. It's very extra. And um, I have got my bag O liquids and stuff. This is a vinyl bag. I got this from the container store. But I will link it down below. It has everything liquid I need to travel so I can easily take this out if it's at the front of my suitcase. So that's where I'm gonna put it for now. Then on the bottom, I've got my vitamins on this side and my makeup here and bath and body stuff here. And on the side, we got my makeup brushes. Are you guys gonna fit in this L'Occitane bag? Maybe? All right. There we go. That's good. <laughs> there, it compartmentalizes them a little bit more and makes them a little bit more travel friendly. So I think that is good for the suitcase. So when I put my shoes, my one pair of dress shoe shoes in the in this, like in the bottom of this, um, not the bottom, but <laughs> inside the, the, the lid, the lid there. 
So we're going to go ahead and close this up. Oh, where's the other side? Here it is. And keep everything in place. There. That on top there. And for now, before I go through security, I'm going to put this liquid stuff in here. There we go. Now it'll probably be, let's see, it'll probably be too fat to go through security. Well, you know, it doesn't look that bad. It might be. Um, but if it is, I'll just take it out and put it inside the interior. Um, but that is, that is my suitcase. So now it's getting dark and I've had to turn on some lights in here, but I'll show you what's in my personal item bag. And I also have this little tiny bagalini. Now this has been a lifesaver because if you're not checking a bag and you're only going through security, you need to have two things, your suitcase, which you'll put in the overhead compartment and then your personal item, I still need a purse. So this is small enough to put inside my backpack. Now my backpack is kind of heavy because we've got uh, a lot of electronics in here. I travel with a lot of electronic stuff. That's just how I roll. So I've got my laptop in here. Have I been looking at the viewfinder the whole time? <laughs> anyway, and I've got my Nintendo Switch because that's important. I've got um, this little guy. This is the ProTech Cube from Eagle Creek. I don't know if they make this anymore, but it's a cube for electronics nonetheless. And inside, I've got all of my camera things in here, like my charger. This is like a travel um, power strip that I have. It has USB ports on the side, which is awesome. I've got my little uh, travel hard drive there. And uh, I got some uh, headphones in here. So I have also the adapter for the headphones so they can be used with my iPhone just in case something happens, you know what I mean, to my AirPods or whatever. But um, so that's all that stuff in there. And I also have, I'm trying out my cocoon thing. So this is something that was gifted to me and I am really excited about trying it. So I've got all of my plugs and adapters I need for everything. I've got my Apple Watch charger, my, um, this is an extra like USB like mini thing. And then it's like extra, extra long Apple cord, the adapter for the switch so I can charge it. Uh, this is the camera charger and my computer power supply there. So that's everything I need. Um, Cause your girl, I, I love some electronics. I have to have all my gadgets with me everywhere I go. So I'm gonna put those right in there. And if I need to, I can put my purse, my little bag here, right in the front. Boom. And then I can wear it and walk around the airport and have only two bags instead of three. Um, my other secret is to like just ditch your wallet and just carry around the essentials because I mean you don't need a lot when you travel. So I have this passport case. It's like a metallic pink sort of passport case and what's cool about it is you can put your passport in here and then all of your like cards or whatever and your money in here and then in this little pocket you can put your um, boarding pass if you have printed out a boarding pass which you probably will when you get to the airport um, unless you do like the all digital thing but I love this thing because it's thin and I can put it right in the little bagalini bag so that I don't have to carry around uh, my normal like larger wallet and so my little travel purse fits everything it's not like the super cutest but it's really functional got my glasses in there got my extra phone juice right there and in these little things I have some uh, like lipsticks and stuff like uh, hand cream and whatever so it gets it's really teeny and I love it so I don't know if this bag is still available from Bagalini but I will link a similar bag uh, but Bagalini makes all kinds of great travel bags like this and the great thing about them is they're waterproof and um, it says don't put them in the washing machine but I've washed this and it's totally fine so um, yay Bagalini okay so that's how I travel just going away for a few days uh, I get through security very quickly every time um, I'm never stopped except for those random checks uh, which is always really fun because everything's compartmentalized so that they have to open up the suitcase they can quickly see what's in there it's no big deal so if you guys want to see the travel vlog that goes along with this video go ahead and click the link down below I'll also put it in a card up above where is it up here it's probably up there so that you guys can see uh, our trip to DC and uh, fun times there but if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you don't uh, give it a big thumbs down I don't care I hope you're having a great morning afternoon evening wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one bon voyage I'm gonna break it down like this.